everybody, Jean back with more Mars anomalies. We're going down to Chico Valley in the southern hemisphere where I've discovered another vast debris field. The IRAS photograph we're analyzing is called Contact Between Rocky and Smooth Plains, and I'll include the link to this photograph below. Acquired on the 27th of March 2011 at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel and I cropped these anomalies from the JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a crop from the low-res JPEG and we're analyzing the anomalies and artifacts I've found on this vast smooth terrain. There it is in Google Earth Mars, 61.19 degrees south, 190.67 degrees east. And it's in this region of Mars that's really barren and flat. This is the high-rise photograph we're analyzing. First anomaly right there in the middle of the screen. Sticking out like a sore finger. It looks almost like a fossilized shell perhaps. Measuring about 12 meters in diameter. And up close we can see it's definitely got a rounded shape to it. And then on the one side, check out that rounded arc over there. Could this have been a type of a craft or maybe could this be a fossilized shell? Also to the side, yeah, we've got a rather strange looking anomaly as well with straight edges and right angles to it. Don't know what that could be. Another one of these huge rounded objects. This one's about 13 meters in diameter and uh, up close. We can see it's also rounded on that one side coming up to a point on the right. So could this also be some type of fossilized shell? Maybe a habitat? Check it that it's slightly elevated on the one side. And some more wreckage. This piece is about 8 meters by 8 meters. And up close we can see it's got really straight edges to it. And uh, well-defined right angles. Looks almost like a piece of metal plate sticking out of the surface over there. Slightly elevated on the right-hand side. A larger piece very similar as well this one's about 15 meters across and up close we can see it's got a really smooth surface to it uh, straight edges and uh, right angles as well also slightly elevated could this be some type of entranceway like a little hangar or something as well Another, it looks like a hexagonal object. This one measures about 10 by 10 meters. And up close we can see well-defined edges to it. We can see one, two, three, four sides. Also a rather smooth surface. But another one of those, but smaller, sticking out from underneath this larger one. And then on the side here we've got what looks like a little cube with a surrounded object next to it, very similar to one we found in Asimov. And then uh, another one of these square slabs. This one measures about 6 by 6 meters with a protrusion that measures about 2 meters in diameter. And uh, up close straight edges to it, looks slightly eroded and damaged. Right there in the center we've got this protrusion or knob. My friend Marsform Barnsey once suggested that these look like pull boxes, very similar to those from World War One. Check out that, we've got a rounded 
disc shape object at the bottom and then the smaller rounded pull box very similar to uh, many of these anomalies I've already covered in previous videos and we know that uh, there were two massive nuclear explosions on Mars in the northern hemisphere the larger explosion near Cydonia and just a ways off or say in the northern hemisphere smaller nuclear explosion and if you look at the one side of Mars it's got a long scar almost uh, the width of the United States from east to west coast so could this be uh, signs of a war that took place there in the distant past many of these objects with these protrusions on are found in the southern hemisphere and then in the northern hemisphere we find more megalithic blocks so could there have been two civilizations north versus south and then uh, a third force may have come in and destroyed the planet it's just a theory so let me know what you guys and girls make of that theory another triangular object right there in the center also sticking out like a sore finger measuring about eight meters across and uh, up close nice straight edges to it equal angles and then right there in the center either a hole or protrusion casting that shadow to the one side also slightly elevated off the Martian surface there's another triangular object there this one's a bit larger measuring about 12 to 13 meters across and uh, it's got some geometry and symmetry to it smooth flat surface and on top we've got two strange objects this one's almost like a U shape this one's got two rounded openings and then three smaller flattened dome like features there to the left also slightly elevated off the surface we've got another one of these uh, square slabs or blocks measuring about 10 by 10 meters and uh, up close relatively smooth flat surface little dome like feature in the center but could these be a pull box type of structures megalithic blocks with knobs to interconnect to other blocks various theories out there Another one of these strange, rather smooth, bright objects with a piece carved out of the one side. This block or slab measures about 12 by 12 meters and uh, zoomed in. Almost the perfect square, straight edges to it, 90 degree angles, and in that part seems to be carved out of this one side maybe that there could be an opening check out this many more like these on Mars I'll show you in a moment this one measures about 12 by 10 meters and uh, if we zoom in it's got two parts to it a rounded side and then uh, a piece coming off the one side maybe joining to this other part here yeah? it looks like little winglet over there type of metal plate perhaps some type of wreckage let's check out other similar anomalies like that this is from two separate high rise photographs you can see there's a lot of similarities between these three this one's got three parts to it, this one here as well. These are located in different regions of Mars. When is NASA actually going to start investigating these smaller objects? 
instead of just looking at the bigger picture, I wish they'd uh, zoom in as well and uh, start investigating these. So let's go over to Google Earth and uh, to the southern hemisphere of Mars and check out these anomalies and some others. South to Chico Vallis or Chico Valley to this region of here. That photograph contact between rocky and smooth plains. Very high level description. Check there's what looks like a fossilized shell some wreckage all these uh, pull box structures and another one of those I'm not sure about could that be a disc top craft fossilized shell you've looked at uh, my previous videos I've covered those before as well as uh, fossilized what looked like horseshoe crabs up near Elysium Planitia so let's check out some of the other anomalies in this region more blocks slabs discs check out that dome All of these uh, got some strange protrusions on them. Another one of those rounded objects with the carved out piece on the right. Very similar to this one we had a look at. Another one of those hexagon shapes. Strange block what looks like a perfect hole cut into it and then a little pyramid thing there next to it also carved out areas on that side those two parallel columns or pillars These strange pyramidal features an illustration of what they looked like and then uh, those giant megaliths that I found near the South Pole okay so let's check out the topography As you can see, smooth, flat terrain. It's a pity they aren't CTX photographs of this area. So with that said, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative and interesting. Do let me know in the comments below what you make of these, as well as the hypothesis that there was a war on Mars, and the third force may have potentially ended the war, devastating the entire planet. If you like my work, please subscribe, turn on notifications. That way you'll be informed as soon as I upload my next video. So thanks again for watching. I'll be back with more. Bye for now.